teacher burnout is real. I mean, we've got schools in our county that are looking, still looking for like 80 teachers. As schools across Texas struggle to hire teachers, Dever Superintendent Elizabeth Harris has an ace up her sleeve. Her district is only in school four days a week, having permanently shifted to the shortened schedule this year after piloting the program since 2019. Everything that we had hoped would happen with the four-day week has happened. Uh, it increased our student population. Financially, it was a savings to the district. Teacher retention, which is not a problem here, but nobody's leaving now. To make up for having Fridays off, the school day has been extended by 10 minutes, running from 7.20 in the morning until 3.35 in the afternoon. The total time, more than enough to meet state requirements. I'm so glad you appeared. Harris says there hasn't been a single complaint, not from teachers, students, or parents. A rarity when it comes to school policy, especially these days. And she says standardized test scores haven't suffered either, hitting their highest levels ever last year and outperforming surrounding districts. Here, that's the total reason that we're successful is because of the staff, the teachers that we have. There's not one that's not just an A-team player. More than 1,600 school districts across the United States have now switched to a four-day school week, including dozens here in Texas. Many of the schools using it as a perk to attract new teachers and retain the ones they already have. But experts say that if a four day school week isn't properly implemented to make up for that lost school day, student achievement is severely impacted. So many of the students are. Emily Morton has done extensive research on shortened school weeks, which have become increasingly popular in historically underfunded rural districts since the 2008 global financial crisis. In some districts, the effects are really closer to zero, like I said, in the districts with more time or in the very more rural districts. But in some districts, those non-rural districts, especially in those with less time, the effects are close to 0.1 standard deviations, which is about a quarter of the typical uh, achievement gains in a year. But there are still a lot of unknowns, like how certain grades or children are affected. One positive Morton likes to highlight is that incident rates of bullying and fighting have been shown to drop even more than the amount of time school has been reduced. For students at Devers, the four-day school week is now the norm. Those Fridays off an opportunity to learn outside the classroom. We have several students that love to rodeo. They show animals, they play select ball. And they all said that, oh wow, y'all are you know crazy, that's never gonna work. And now pretty much every district in this county has gone to the four day week, so it works. While an endless supply of three day weekends may work for now, Harris says it doesn't solve the underlying issues driving teachers from the profession. And it may pack less of a recruitment punch as more schools shift to a shorter school week. Tony Waterman, CGTN, Devers, Texas.